I wish I had a blue elephant doll. That could move its ears. And, and its nose too. And its tail too. I wish there was a bicycle in the sky. With a red bicycle seat. Hey elephant, where are you going? Bicycles are not for elephants. Actually, it looks like they're perfect for you. But why aren't you happy, elephant? Maybe you would like a friend? Or two? I wish that the elephant would have a giraffe friend. A pink giraffe friend. Hey elephant, you already look much happier. You are very funny. Be careful, you are crashing into all of the stars. Thank you for putting the stars back in their place. Goodbye, giraffe. Goodbye, elephant. Good night.
<laughs> Would you like to play hide and seek? <laughs> Where is Grandpa? Where do you think he hides? Where is Grandpa? Perhaps you'll help me find. Maybe in the chest. Or in the closet he hides. Underneath the coat. Or perhaps he's outside. Oh, I see. Grandpa's hiding in the gallery. Where is Grandpa? Where do you think he hides? Where is Grandpa? Perhaps you'll help me find Sculptures standing tall And paintings on the walls In the gallery Playing hide and seek In the painting you will find That's where Grandpa hides world colors colors the color green green A green frog. <coughs> green. 
green building blocks. A green leaf. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, green. The color pink. Pink. A pink pig. A pink candy. A pink flower. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, pink. The color purple. Purple. A purple eggplant. A purple umbrella. A purple butterfly. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, purple. The color green. Green grass. Green stems. Pink. Pink flowers. Purple. Purple petals.
Good night, Lily and Peppa. Everyone is tired. It's time to go to sleep. Great, everyone's asleep. Shh. <laughs> oh, they're just pretending. It's a game. The moon at the window. Reading a bedtime story. Lily is wearing pyjamas. Brushing her teeth. Peppa is sleeping with her doll. Lily is sleeping with her rabbit. Good night. The moon has a hat with a pom-pom. Good night. Night. A fairy mobile. There's a star. Naughty star. Good night. Good night.
Hello there, colors. I have a wonderful story for you today. It's a story about the moon who lost his stars. Colors, would you like to help me tell the story? <laughs> Great. Meet the moon and his best friends, the stars. One day, the moon had just woken up and realized that all of his friends, the stars, had disappeared. The moon went to look for them. On his way, he saw Grandma baking some cookies at her house and asked her, Grandma, have you seen some stars around? Uh, no, I haven't seen your stars, said Grandma, uh, but I can give you some cookies in the shape of some stars. Yum, your stars are delicious, but they're almost all done, said the moon. The moon continued on, and soon he saw his friend Lily. Hi, Lily. Perhaps you've seen some stars around? asked the moon. Hmm, no, I haven't, said Lily. But I can give you some stickers in the shape of stars. Hmm, the stickers are pretty and sparkly, but a little sticky, said the moon. The star stickers are sparkly, and the star cookies are delicious, but I want my stars. Where could the moon's stars be? The moon continued on and saw Grandpa and asked him, Hello, Grandpa. Have you seen my stars anywhere? Uh, no, I've not seen your stars, moon, said Grandpa. But perhaps you'd like these red stars. Red stars? Your stars are very red and pretty, but I really want my own stars back, said the moon. The night came, and the moon was very worried for his best friends, the stars. Suddenly, he saw a very odd-looking tree. An orange tree with stars? I think these stars belong to you, said the tree. I am an orange tree, not a star tree. Would you like them back? Of course I would, cried out the moon. And that's how the moon got his shiny stars and best friends back. Did you enjoy the story colors? I did too. See you next time. Louis's friends. Soap. Louis, look how dirty you are. Do you want to take a shower? So into the bathtub you go. Here is the body soap. Smell it, Louie. Does the soap smell good? There is special soap for the hair. It is called shampoo.
Close your eyes, Louie. Louie, the shampoo is dripping. Not all the soaps are liquids. Do you want to see? This is a bar of soap. There are many different shapes of soaps. Big soaps. Small soaps. Square. Round. Each soap cleans something different. There is special soap for clothes. There is special soap for animals. Goodbye, soaps. Soap. Goodbye, soap.
Woolly. Wooly and the Tomorrow. On one Friday morning, Wooly woke up with a frown. Why is it that Fridays are so long and make me feel down? Where is Saturday? When will he be here? Why does it take him so long to appear? Wooly decided there's no time to spare. He went to search for the tomorrow out there. Some food and some water he put in his pack. He went out on his mission. Without answers, he won't come back. He invited Sammy the dog and Ben the cat too. And together they set out to find something new. And so with no fear and hope in his eyes, they went to the place where the sun likes to rise. It's where the sun rises and where it first shines that every new day passes for the first time. Wooly and his friends walked far and walked fast. They crossed roads and bridges and reached the river at last. What a big river and a current so strong. How do we cross it? This may take very long. Wooly called three turtles to come help him fast. The turtles swam over and they climbed on their backs. They crossed the river as time passed by. They sailed very far and always kept dry. Now it was time to continue the quest and find where it is that tomorrow rests. They ran down the path, and they suddenly stopped. They reached a cliff that couldn't be crossed. Ben was worried quite a lot. How would they cross such a steep drop? But Wooly's creative and also quite brave. He'll solve any problem that just comes his way. He waved at two eagles he saw way up high, and they came right away to help from the sky. Wooly climbed on one, and his friends climbed on two, and on the eagles' backs they flew. A beautiful flight, way above the clouds, and they landed safely, back on the ground. Wooly and his friends were back on their feet. The sun's going down, and their mission incomplete. And because they were tired from their very long quest, they stopped near the trees for a short little rest. They shut their eyes and counted the sheep, and within moments, they were all fast asleep. And all of a sudden, a ray of sun shines bright and wakes up everyone. Wake up, my friends. It's a brand new day. It's Saturday. Willie was happy and glad that he found the tomorrow he was looking for all around.